and welcome to the Audio Barista's weekly vlog number 86. It is early morning in Rotterdam and as you can see it is cold and it has been snowing but because it's early let's make some coffee. So here we have my wonderful little machine. Put this thing in there, put my cup under it, turn it on. Let's see what happens. There it goes. Now, as you can see over there, the big cloud, that is the energy central um, working to keep all these people warm. So that's very nice. How is this coming along? You know, always use a timer when you do this. Okay, let me have a sip. Okay, this is very nice. Okay, so I'm probably playing a little video now also, but after the reports from America and all the blizzards and the amounts of snow that's falling there, this is of course not very impressive, but for us here in the Netherlands, here in Rotterdam, this was the first time in 10 years that we had an official snowstorm. So that was a big thing here. And of course, now people are ice skating uh, on nature ice. So that's nice. A um, few things I want to show you today. It is an early video because I am working today. I'm giving a class. I'll show you something about that. A uh, little update. So here we have the advanced acoustic set which is ready for pickup which will be next week. I'm having some stuff here that I'm going to tell you about. I told you about the problem with that loudspeaker so I have an update uh, for that. You, It's something else than you would expect so stay tuned and over here, these Magnat loudspeakers, I have a little review on them for you in this vlog, so stay tuned. But let me show you this. So normally over here there's only audio equipment, but now we have these, these things, this setup. So this is my work setup. Now that's not something that may interest you because of the channel, but I'm giving classes. So what I'm doing, I'm having this uh, big screen for the presentation and to see all the people that are in the classroom. I'm having a laptop in order to be able to change my uh, PowerPoint slides and, and, and whatever because of the keyboard and the mouse pad, which has, is not on the uh, TV screen, of course. And I'm having an extra, in this case an iPad, an extra screen to look up things without disturbing my MS Teams call. Now here's one thing I want to show you. Over here on top there is a webcam. So the reason for that is sometimes you see people with a laptop like this and the webcam will shine straight up into their nose, which is not very pleasant. So you want your webcam to be at some eye level. So I'm sitting here, something at eye level. Now actually, um, this is still a little bit too high. So what I would pay for, and maybe one of you uh, know that this thing already exists. Maybe you have connections who can create this, design this, but I would pay money for a big screen where right in the middle of the screen is the actual webcam. You know, these things are very tiny and it should be possible to have one right in the middle over there. So when you look at your presentation, when you look at the people that you are in conference with, it looks like you are watching straight at them instead of all these calls when you're looking at someone. They'll be looking to the sides because that is where their screen is or they're looking down because that is where their laptop is. Well, that's just a little rant. But if you have any ideas, if this exists, a webcam in the middle of the screen. Another idea I have is to put the webcam in front 
of the screen. But most of my uh, tripods, I have one over here, most of my tripods, the part where you put on the webcam is just so big that it is taking up too much space in front of the screen. But that's another uh, experiment that I'm going, going to do. Oh, and here's one thing. How do you know that you're really an audiophile? Or you know that you're really an audiophile when you're looking for a power bar to make sure all these things have power and you're looking for a power bar and this, a Quinted Power Center power filter from Pierce Audio is more or less the only thing that you have lying around, including a thick, fat cable. So this is proof that I'm an audiophile. Okay, enough about work. I promised you I promised you two things. So I told you last week about this beauty. What happened when I changed the drivers? So here's a little clip. For those of you who do not know, this is my Sin loudspeaker. It has a problem because when I'm playing too much bass, this driver is going to make some noises. Now there is a little trick that may help this and that is to, to reverse this driver turning it opening it up taking it out and turning it back upside down in fact so that's what i'm going to try okay so i took out this mid-range driver over here you can see how the cables are connected to it and as you can see there is not a single mark not a single label nothing at all there's just some number over there but there's nothing on this um, driver to indicate who made it or what it is so that's interesting let's try and reverse it okay so i connected both of them i did change the drivers on both of them even though one of them the cabling inside was too short so i could not really turn it uh, all the way around just a quarter but i found out what is wrong with it because the sound is still there but it appeared to be something else so here we have the loudspeaker back on the couch and what happened and let me see if i can show you this it appears that this part of the speaker surround is not glued in place this is just can i get under that well, this is exactly the kind of sound that I was hearing. So that was not a very good job. Um, I have to repair that and see what happens. Okay, so that's interesting. And another thing that I promised you for today is a little review of these Magnat loudspeakers. And it became such a short review that I decided not to make a s separate video for that, but just to put it in this vlog. So here's another clip. Okay, so when my friend Andrew brought me the Advanced Acoustic uh, Pre and Power Amp, he also got me a pair of these. I believe he got them in the same score. And I believe they say, he said they were for free. Now this is the Magnat loudspeaker the vector 22 so i have been trying these we tried those directly after he brought the all this stuff over here and i said mm, i don't believe this is going to be something and now i gave him some more time i gave him an honest listening and i really can't be impressed by this loudspeaker the bass is a mess it goes low but the instruments like a bass or a didgeridoo on some recording that i have it just doesn't sound like 
that kind of instrument anymore. Placement position within the sound stage is very fuzzy. This is a ceramic tweeter. This uh, loudspeaker was sold from 1997. So I believe uh, ceramic loud uh, tweeters were pretty new in that period. But this is not harsh, but it is also not very pleasant. Making this for a loudspeaker that I would not recommend anyone. I went online to see what other people were saying about them and some people are very positive about it. And one comment said it's a sandpapery uh, highs and uncontrolled bass. And I'm going with that one also a little bit. So that's too bad because this is a pretty big uh, bookshelf loudspeaker. But I like this size, these dimensions. Too bad the sound doesn't live up to it. Okay, so you can imagine these will go back to Andrew, the one who is also the owner, of course, of the Advanced Acoustic Set, who has his own uh, YouTube channel, which is called Vintage Stereo, and who is living in the flat right over there. So that is all that I have for today. I'm going back to my classroom. I wish you a very good weekend and I'll see you next week.